Hi there, I'm an Ultimate Iron Man. Sort of. I have divided the RuneScape map into 18 regions, all with their own custom-built task system. These tasks provide rewards to me, such as XP and supplies. Every week, I will randomly select one of these regions and I will be locked to it for 9 hours. Once up, my inventory and ward equipment will be wiped. My bank will be operating on a store-only basis, which means I can never take items out of it. I have compiled a list of RuneScape bosses and the goal of this series is to kill all of them at least once. With every boss killed for the first time, I'm awarded either the choice of an additional region every week or the ability to carry over one inventory slot every single week. Lastly, all of this content will be streamed live at twitch.tv forward slash MrFrogRS, so be sure to join in. If you need any more information, make sure you check out the description, or just leave a comment. Without further ado, I bring you... Regional Rumble! So, it is time to spin the first of the two regions. Let's spin the wheel. Okay. No, it's not awful. All right. Okay. Well, and now we're going to spin the second region. Okay. Okay. I can deal with that. I'm I'm all right with that. That'll do. Welcome to episode 8 of Regional Rumble. We are starting this week in Summer Grand. I don't think that's that much of a surprise. It was either this or Lumbridge, and we've done most of Lumbridge. There's a few more things I could do there, but Summer Grand is a new region, so I kind of want to abuse everything available to me. Uh, for those of you who might not understand where the region applies to, it's basically everything south of like this road. Um, it does also uh, include the entrance to the catacombs, which is included for both northern and southern. It is the only thing that they directly share, um, just because I thought it's better for content that way. It means I can access, access the catacombs from two different places. Uh, so it does basically mean all of Shazian is accessible from Southern Karen. Anything beyond this becomes Kebos, uh, basically beyond the river and the lake. Uh, so beyond this bit here is all Southern Karen. I mean, obviously you would have seen the map, but this is just giving you a little bit more detail. So we have access to all the Crab Claw Isle, the Fourth Host Dungeon, the entirety of Hosidius, uh, which is probably going to be a primary focus for this because I might want to get 100% favor in Hosidius. It'd be nice to do some Tithe uh, and get some farming up, but I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get 34 farming in any reasonable amount of time. So throw that out the window. We don't have access to Piscaridius because that's counted as Northern, unfortunately. I don't know what I'm highlighting. I can move the map. I didn't even know this. Anyway, sorry, sidetracked. But yeah, we do have a lot of stuff. Uh, we can also make bows, um, seeing as we have a flax field here, and then we have a spinning wheel over here. Uh, we can get a knife from this shop, so we can make ourselves a bow, and then there's a range shop in Shazian, so ranged is fairly easy to do in this region, which is going to be really nice because it is our strongest combat stat. Um, but yeah, that's basically what we're looking at right now. With all that said, I'm going to clear this because it's annoying, and we're going to get the timer started, and we'll get started on the region. I have no idea what I'm starting with. I think the first thing I'm going to do here is actually just go ahead and get 30 agility. It shouldn't take very long at all. Uh, we've got ourselves the beginner course here, which doesn't require anything other than, I think, 5 agility. Um, I did this a lot on the Overzealous series, so I'm quite familiar with it. But yeah, if we can get ourselves 30 agility, it means that in the future, if we end up getting the desert region, we can do the agility pyramid, which isn't so much for XP, more for money, and money will be really handy in the desert, and I'd hate to get to the point where we get the desert and I still don't have 30 agility. So I am going to smash that out right now. Uh, after this, I'm probably going to work on Hosidius Favor, seeing as that's going to be really useful in the future as well. 
and that should also get me some farming XP. Um, I am going to need some money for this though, because I think I have to buy compost. I'll have to work around that as I get to it. I don't think thieving's quite going to cut it, because I think I need quite a bit of money. Um, maybe we work on getting ourselves some combat gear and killing some monsters or something. Um, I can technically kill banshees, um, but I don't think I can get earmuffs right now. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into that, but for now we're just going to work on getting 30 agility. Alright, that's going to be 30 agility. That should unlock the agility pyramid. For rock course as well, I guess that's kind of handy if I ever end up back in for rock. Cold War, one of my favourite quests of all time. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish this lap, and then I'm probably going to head over to Osidious, like I said before. Gonna figure out how, a way to get some money. We're gonna knock out some tasks. Um, you would have seen in the opening screen what the tasks are, but quickly just to run over them. Uh, we gotta hand in some fertilizer, steal from a fruit stall, and bake an apple pie. Um, all doable. All very, very doable. Uh, we can smack them out in this episode. I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's anything that's gonna get in the way of that. Um, I would like to increase my Ocidious favor, but like I said, that's gonna start costing money. I don't really know how I'm gonna get a lot of money in this area other than like thieving or maybe killing things. So we will have to address that as it comes to it, but for now, we're going to go ahead and knock out some tasks. Alright, let's make some pastry dough, put this into the pie dish, make ourselves the uncooked apple pie. Please don't burn. I really can't bother to make another one. There we go. We have baked an apple pie. Task complete. Okay, so the rewards for this task of baking an apple pie are going to be the standard 5,000 XP, 50 bread, or a set of studded chaps. I might go with the studded chaps because I'm probably going to be doing some range at some point. However, I would like to see what the uh, XP roll is before we go ahead and decide. So, we are going to go ahead and spin the wheel. See what we get for the XP. I mean... It's not terrible. It's uh, it's not a lot of um, it's not a lot of levels. I'm gonna go with the chat, and we'll see what we get from this. Okay, so it seems fairly unanimous once again. We're gonna go with the XP. Uh, so that will be five thousand smithing XP after the first three hours. So after the six-hour mark, I will add the five thousand smithing XP. If you've been following along in the series, you understand how this works now. Um, the other two tasks that I need to do in this area does require me to get favor, as we've discovered with the um, the fruit stall, which, again, I don't really understand why it requires favor to steal from them, but either way, I'm going to need to get myself a hammer so I can go ahead and plow the fields and then get ourselves some favor. I'm probably going to do that for a while and just go straight to 15 with that. Uh, I think I need five for fertilizer, but... I'm not going to be able to make loads of fertilizer, so I feel like it might be best just to do it to 15 and then make the fertilizer and do the fruit store in the same run. So, it means we're going to spend a little while pushing these plows back and forward. Uh, I haven't done this, I don't think, since they uh, moved Zaya around. I can't remember if I did it on Overzealous with this. Anyway, this could take a while. Right, that's going to be 15% done. Uh, we've got an update coming in about 20 minutes, which could cause a few problems. Let's hope the downtime isn't too long. Um, but we are going to be able to go ahead and steal from the stall now, for real this time. And we'll be able to complete another task, and then we should be able to instantly go and make ourselves some fertilizer, which completes another one. So let's quickly go over here, and we should be able to steal from the fruit stall. And that is another task complete, and it is an easy task in the Corrended Kebos area. Let's take it off. Alright, the rewards from this task are 5,000 XP. 10 nature runes or 2 anti-poisons. They're not that all that great, I've got to be honest. At this point, I'm probably just going to shove all the XP on because this is week 8. I just want to get these easy tasks done and out of the way. But I will still put it up for a poll. And we also need to spin the wheel to see what we get. So, what do we, got, what do we get as our XP for the second task? I'd like to think this is a no-brainer, but I will let the chat decide. Alright, okay, so the votes are in. Um, 
they tried to troll me. They want me to take the anti-poisons, um, but no, we, we've got majority of the vote, just about majority of the vote, voting for the XP. So we're going to take the 5,000 prayer XP, which is going to go alongside the 5,000 smith XP. Prayer XP is just really good, um, because the sooner we get protection prayers, protection prayers, uh, the better, really. Uh, we'll be able to do a lot more stuff with that. But yeah, that's going to be 5,000 prayer XP added onto the account. The last thing we need to do is go and make ourselves some fertilizer, which shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I should be able to go over here to the leprechaun, grab myself a spade and a bucket of compost, and we should be able to instantly just go over and grab some fertilizers. That shouldn't take any time at all. I don't know if I've got the agility level for this. Probably not. We're going to find out. No. No, I don't. It's weird that it tells me from here, though, rather than letting me run all the way up to it. Either way, let's run the long way around. All right, give me that salt, Peter. There we go. We're going to add that to the compost to make ourselves some fertilizer. And then we're just going to go hand this in. And donate the fertilizer. And that is going to complete ourselves the third and final task of the easy tier. Right, that's the third task done. The rewards for this task are the 5000 XP, as usual, a fly fishing rod, or two defense potions. Um, now, the fly fishing rod actually could be quite useful because I don't think I can obtain one here without uh, doing this task. But I can obtain feathers and there is a place to fish. So it could be a sustainable food source. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that or not. But we are going to go ahead and spin ourselves some XP to see what we get from this. And that will help decide what I want to take as a reward. So let's go with the XP and see what we can get. Okay. A little bit undecided here, actually. Because I don't actually feel like 5,000 Smith XP is that useful right now. I think I'll get, like, one more level. Fly Fishing Rod could be really good for food. I'm going to go and ask the chat and see what we get from this. So, it seems, with the chat, that we're going to ignore the 5,000 Smith XP. It doesn't help that much. And the fly fishing rod could actually be really useful. Um, we have access to a fishing spot here. And also, the chat has mentioned that I need to completely remember. I have access to Lumbridge here as well. So, if I really wanted to, we could also go back to here and fish here. And then we have uh, a chicken pen here because this region goes up to this wall here. So, we've got chickens here. We've got chickens all over the place. We can get feathers very easy. Um... We also have access to uh, Shanty, actually. I just realized that also sells feathers. So we don't even have to kill chickens. Uh, I probably would anyway, because the XP is pretty good. Uh, even we use it for melee. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and take the Fly Fishing Rod. So I'll be adding onto that, that onto the account fairly shortly. Probably after the system update, to be honest. No point wasting my time now. But that is every easy task in Southern Karen done. Smashed out super quick. We got all that done in just over an hour. Um, so that's really nice. At the point where you get to like week 8, this stuff just goes past so quick because the account has progressed. We don't have to level anything up. I didn't have to get any cooking levels to make the apple pie and I didn't burn it. So we get through this super quick. So let's move on to the medium tasks. So I think for the next 8 minutes or at least uh, while we wait for the update, I'm just going to be plowing the fields. Uh, we are going to want 100% eventually. I could do fertilizer, but unfortunately, getting the money for the compost is going to cost quite a bit. And uh, I don't really have a decent way of making money. So I think the plan to get 100% is actually to plow the fields until like 45%. Uh, percent. I think it's 45 And then we'll be able to do the mess hall. Uh, so I'll probably go over and do that. Which will give me a chunk of cooking XP as well. But yeah, we'll probably do that all the way to 100% Hosidious favor. Um, and this gives me craft XP as well, so I can't really complain. But yeah, so at least another... Oh my god, it's broke so many times. At least another seven minutes of this. I may do it after the update. Who knows? Alright, so it's post-update, and I just got level seven farming um, from doing the plow of the fields, and that actually unlocks cabbages. Now, if you don't know, if you pick enough cabbages from a field, you'll eventually get a cabbage seed. And I figured that why not get some farming XP while I'm doing this? Try and get myself some cabbage seeds. I mean, yes, I could pickpocket the Master Farmer, and that would be a lot easier, but that's definitely a better option, and I probably should do that. But, hear me out here. I'm trying to think of a valid reason to do this. 
I don't have one. I want to do it. Okay, there we go. There's a reason. We got one cabbage seed. I want six. I'm going to collect these until I get six seeds. And then we're going to grow some cabbages because I can. You know what? I'm going to the master farmer. Screw this. All right. I gave in. We're doing master farmer for the seeds. We've got four. We need two more. Screw the cabbage field. Well, that's cabbages planted. We can go back to plant fields. Uh, like I said, I want to do this until I believe it's 45. Uh, I can't check because the game won't let me. Um, 45, yes. We'll be able to do mess hall. And I need to fix it anyway. So we're going to go for 45, which is just about another 25%. Shouldn't take too long. Maybe like half an hour. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, 35 crafting. We can now make some useless stuff. Sweet. All right, so we're currently at 35.1% favor, or 35.3% favor, make a liar out of me. Um, we have added the fly fishing rod to the account, so at any point now I can go ahead and fish um, salmon or trout. Uh, that'll allow us to have some food if we decide to do some melee, which I may well do. Um, I don't really know what my decent options are for a melee weapon, but if I did have 40 attack, I could in theory get a rune scimitar in this region. I uh, don't know how practical that would be to do. I'm going to need some money first. Uh, thieving isn't too bad for money, so I might go ahead and do that, do some ranged or something. Um, as I said, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing, but having access to a decent food source is really nice. Salmon and trout are reasonable for a low-level account like me, and they're super easy to obtain anyway. And I think this is way more useful than the 5,000 smithing XP anyway. So we've got another about 9% left to do here. Uh, I'll probably spam through mess hall after that, get to 100%, and then we might work on doing some combat. Well, my plant's dead. All right, that's going to be 45% to 45.3. Can I move, please? Uh, we don't need the extra percentage anyway. Um, I did go ahead and plant some more stuff after the plants died, um, but we got some more cabbages growing here. I'm going to beeline it over to the mess hall, and we're going to work on that for a while. Uh, we've got 33 minutes left of today. I don't need this. I'm not going to need this anymore. We'll keep hold of this as it's our reward. Um, I got a gold bar from an Arnav random. Honestly, probably going to sell it. Don't really have much use for it. Uh, we'll grab the. We'll get a knife back later if we really need it. We'll drop the cabbage seed. I want to have as much invent space as I can. So I'm probably just going to have coins and a fly fishing rod. We don't need the apple pie. Honestly, I don't even know why I still have that. In fact, I'm going to eat it to get myself back to full. And then we're going to go sell the gold bar to the shop. And we'll head over to Mess Hall. And we're going to crank that out until we get 100% Hosidious favor. Which is also going to give us a decent amount of cooking XP. Not needed, really. But I'm not going to complain about some free XP. Alongside what I'm actually doing anyway. Which is just getting the favor as it is. We will need the Hosidious favor in the future for stuff like Woodcutting Guild. Uh, which is some of the medium task. Uh, is to burn a U-Log in the Woodcutting Guild. So I will need that in the future anyway. But yeah. Inventory all sorted. It's time to get to the mess hall. Okay, that took no time at all. We're about to get ourselves 100% Hosidious favor. I don't think we have to lock it in or anything. I'm pretty sure that's changed now. So we just have 100%. We did also get another cooking level at 53. Um, didn't get all that much XP because honestly, you get so much favor from doing this. It was insanely quick. Now, uh, like I said, this was super quick. So I wasn't really prepared for this. But I think the next thing I want to do is actually work on some Hunter. Um... And to do this, I'm going to head down to Land's End. Now, it's nice because we actually did the mini quest that gives you Nine Hunter in Varrock, the museum mini quest. And that essentially actually allows us to train Hunter in this area. If it weren't for that, we wouldn't have the level 2. Because I'm pretty sure the things you need to catch are level 9. If we look here, Copper Longtails. Uh, I'm going to just double check and run past them. But I'm pretty sure it's the Copper Longtails. Um, if, if it's anything higher, then I'm kind of screwed. But yeah, we should be able to catch some birds and we'll get some hunter XP, which will be really nice because if I can get my hunter high enough to catch implings, it unlocks access to stuff like Puro Puro and all these niche sort of drops from implings that could really help in certain areas. One of the big ones actually being young implings dropping bowstrings, which kind of means that I can near enough make bows in basically any region, which is insane for an account that relies on range. 
a lot of the time bows are locked behind the fact that I can't get bow strings other than in like this area and in Sears, which I had last week. So yeah, if we can unlock implings, it's a huge load of items for the account in very niche situations. Regardless, uh, we should be quite near to the birds now. Let's go ahead and just check which ones they are. Like I said, I think they are copper longtails, which would be amazing. There we go, copper longtails. They are requiring nine hunter, which is the exact level we have. And we can actually run down here and get ourselves some bird snares. So I think this is the correct house to get the bird snares. Uh, it's not that one, maybe this one. This is the butterfly there. Okay, so wrong house. Uh, we'll try another one. I'm pretty sure this one's the box traps. I'm almost certain about that. So I assume one of these is bird snares. There we go. It's only gonna let me have one at a time, so I'm just gonna use the drop trick to get a bunch of them. Uh, we can stock up on bird snares, and then we can go ahead and we can catch a whole lot of birds. Also, the feathers you get from them, I'm not entirely sure if you can do this, but I'm really hoping that you can use them for fishing, because then we can combine them with the fly fishing rod, and we can do a whole bunch of fishing, get ourselves some food, and go ahead and train some melee stats, because I've also considered that because I also have the access to Lumbridge and Alcarid, I can actually get a Mithril Scimitar from Zeke in Alcarid, um, assuming I have the money, of course, which I'll have to find a way of doing, but it could be really good for some melee training. And if I feel like I'm done in uh, Southern Karen, then I could just go and trade on Hill Giants in the uh, Lumbridge and Alcarid area, which could be really good combat XP for melee, which I do quite want to get. I would love to push my attack to 40, which will unlock Rune. Um, for the future, when I can finally carry an item over, having a Rune Scimitar to carry over could be quite useful. But yeah, that's enough rambling. We're going to go ahead and trade some Hunter. I don't know what level I'm going to go for. Probably just going to do this for a while. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we've been doing Hunter for quite a while, to be honest. Um, I didn't even look at the timer before. Um, we just got 20, which means I can finally place two traps. I've been catching these birds one by one this entire time, so it's going to be nice to finally be able to place two traps. Um, it has gone past the six-hour mark, but I may or may not have not had chance to put the XP on. So we're still the, currently the same stats. I will probably be adding these after the three hour mark. Uh, apologies. I mean, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. I don't think we'd have got anything major out of it. We are going to be pretty close to protect from magic though, which is going to be pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't really help me in this area too much, but still having protection prayers is really nice for the future. So um, I'm going to be keep doing on, uh, keep on going with Hunter. I think I'm going to go for 32. Uh, I think that's what I've settled on. I don't know if I mentioned this in an earlier clip, but we're going to aim for, where are they? Implings, bare hand, young implings. And the main reason for this is for bowstrings. If we need bowstrings in the future, then I can bare hand young implings for them. I don't really know how practical it is, but it would be nice to have it unlocked just in case. But with that said, it's time to uh, make myself miserable and do more hunter. Okay, this is going to be the final bird. Or well, 32 hunter. Um, I think the last time I recorded was over an hour ago, so I've been just smashing this out. Uh, we were going to go for a higher level, originally, but honestly, the levels have just been so slow as of recently. Hunter is a horrible skill to train in early levels, I really do hate it. Um, but, we managed to uh, get ourselves 32. We've still got 3 hours and 48 minutes left, and I think what I actually want to do now, uh, we're going to get rid of all of these, we do not need the burst nerds anymore, is we're just going to head over to Lumbridge. Um, I need to collect up a few bits, but I want to complete the Sleeping Giants quest so we can unlock the Giants Foundry, and that's also going to give us another quest point or more. I think it gives one, um, but it will push us closer to the Champions Guild, which is something I really want to unlock. Um, and I also will have the ability to train smithing there and make some money. Not massive, but considering I want to camp the Hill Giants nearby, it could be something interesting to try out. So I'm going to get a list up of all the items I need for Giants Foundry, or... For the Sleeping Giants quest, and we're going to go ahead and complete that. So, we're here in Alcarids. I believe I have all the items required for the quest, um, but I am going to want a Mithril Scimitar sooner or later. So, I'm going to need to get like a 900 coins, and there should be a man over here where if I turn my attack options on to uh, right click, I should be able to just spam pickpocket. Um, I don't really have any food, 
so when I start failing it might cause a problem but I'm really hoping that I can get the full 1040 coins before that becomes an issue we'll just have to see all right scratch what I said previously these guys give way much more uh, we're gonna be pickpocketing these to try and get the 1k uh, if I fail too many times it could be a problem but we'll just hope that doesn't happen quest begins all right that's gonna be the final steps of the quest we can go ahead and finish this. I don't know if I get coins from this, but if I do, it'll actually give me the rest of the coins. Uh, because I had to stop, uh, I started running out of health. Um, I could have grabbed myself some kebabs, but I figured I'd just go and do the quest real quick and let myself regen a bit. Um, we'll see if I get any coins for this. I'm pretty sure I don't, but nonetheless, do we? No. Okay, so we don't actually get any coins from that. That sucks. Uh, we did jump to smithing levels though which is really nice um 29 hp i'll probably just go and use some kebabs or something um i will be going fishing soon to get some food for hill giants but i want to get myself the mythical scimitar first so that we've got all that covered the quest is now done that's given us another quest point we are at 20 uh, another 12 and i'll be able to go into the champions guild which is really nice uh, we don't need this bucket anymore i got hit at four again this is twice in a row i've been hit at four now yeah, so, um, kebabs and pickpocketing, I guess, to try and make the money for the Mithril Scimitar. Right, that's going to put us at 1.2k coins. I did get myself a little bit extra just so I can go through the gate and back uh, and anything else that I might possibly need. Should be, I think, 1,040 for the Mithril Scimitar. Perfect, we can go ahead and buy that. That's going to give us a melee weapon to train with. So, yeah, uh, pretty much we're just going to be training on hill giants. I am going to go fish an inventory of food. Um like trout and salmon and then we're going to run over there uh and then i'm probably going to use like the iron drops and stuff uh the duplicates because i'll probably wear the initial ones but i'll use the duplicates to do smithing in the giant's foundry and uh that's probably what i'm going to be doing for the rest of the episode i want to get some melee stats i want to get 40 strength and uh work my way towards 40 attack because that will allow us to use rune weaponry when we finally get it Apparently I can't use these feathers. I was told I could. Well, luckily enough, Shanty sells feathers. I guess I could just go chickens, actually. I'll do that for the first invent, but yeah, these are actually useless. Uh, I was told I could use them for fishing. I cannot. So, orange feathers are gone. But I'm going to get myself some feathers from the chickens. We'll get ourselves an invent of food, and we'll head over to the hill giants. Alright, so we've done our first inventory of hill giants, we've got ourselves some items here, and I also want to mention that I have added the XP now. So, we are currently at 39 smithing, and 36 prayer. Um, if I killed about 103 more hill giants, I would be able to get 37, and have protect from magic. I don't think that's going to happen, but it does push us closer and closer and closer to protection prayers, which will be really helpful in future regions, and with some bosses as well. At the moment, I'm going to go and head back and get myself some more food. I probably should have put this into the Giant's Foundry and I just completely forgot. I'm going to have to kill more chickens anyway to get more feathers. Um, I feel like I should probably just sell these runes. I not, can't use law runes and I, I don't know what I'm going to do with mine runes. I might as well just drop them. I don't know why I'm picking up these items. It's habit. Limpoid runes use this as well, so I don't know why I'm keeping that. I want as much food as I can possibly get other than picking up iron items to do smithing with. I don't think there's anything I should really be picking up. But we are 39 strength, uh, I want to go for 40 and then I'll start training the attack. And if somehow we manage to get 40 attack in the time that we've got left, I'm also going to start working on defense. Uh, if not, I'll probably do that in a future region with whatever I can manage to acquire. And uh, yeah, that'll be pretty good for the melee stats. I don't really know what it's going to help with, but I'm sure that when I get around to carrying items over, it'll be a lot more useful to do melee. So... That's what I'm looking at here. Like the idea is I'd carry over a rune scimitar. Uh, because range I need to carry over two items rather than one. But we'll just have to see how the planning goes. It's hard to tell what I want to do until I realistically have a good item to carry over and the boss kill to do it with. So let's get ourselves some food and let's get back to Hill Giants. Alright, another trip done. Um, during that trip we did actually get ourselves a genie random. Which I'm actually going to go ahead and put on prayer. I was originally doing Slayer but... I, it's not really even going to help, so I mean, I get a level, but I get nothing out of it. We're going to put on prayer because I really want to get to uh, overheads, and this is going to push us quite close to, well, a lot closer to getting 37 for Protect from Magic, which obviously helps with PVM, the main central focus of this account. So 
that seems worthwhile. Um, for now, we're going to go restock on food, and we're going to go back again. I did drop the iron meds, because I realized I was being a bit stupid. Um, they only use one bar to make, and the way the Giant's Foundry works is any items you put in will give you the amount of bars it took to make minus one. And obviously, they only took one, so it just wouldn't give me anything. So I essentially just dropped them in the end. Complete waste of space. Uh, I believe iron... Um, sorry, hill giants can drop iron kite shields, which would be really nice for defensive means. And also, if I get it, I can put it in the Giant's Foundry, because they take three bars to make, which means it'll give me two. I'm probably not going to end up doing any actual Giant's Foundry, because I take a lot more damage than I thought. Um, so most of the time, I'm getting food. But as long as we can get ourselves 40 strength and work on some attack, I don't mind too much. Uh, the Giant's Foundry was just sort of a, a bonus towards this. Um, but I did collect up a bunch of feathers, so we should be able to keep stocking up on food. And then train our melee stats as much as possible. And that's going to be 40 strength. Beautiful. We can switch this over to attack now. And I'm just going to do as many attack levels as I possibly can in the next 2 hours and 23 minutes. I honestly don't think that I'm going to get 40 attack because of how often I have to go and get food. Uh, we did get ourselves a steel scimitar. I'm not sure if I put that in the video. Uh, maybe I have. But this can actually be traded in for one steel bar. In the foundry and you know why not use all the metal i can absolutely get so i'm going to be handing that in as well i mean bear in mind even if i can't fill up the crucible before the end of the episode if i ever come back here in the future i probably will and then i can just add them in as well so they'll stay there forever they don't get wiped obviously um so could help in the future anyway in fact what i might do at the end of the, this um this episode is i might actually just lob my mithril scimitar in there as well I don't know how that works. I don't know if you can mix more than two metals. Um, but there's only one way to find out, I suppose. Alright, so we've done another couple of runs at Hill Giants. We're currently at 31 attack. I'm just coming in here because I want to store this in the Crucible. That should give me one bar. One bar of steel, uh, which is really nice. And we also got ourselves a beginner clue, which I believe is in Drainer, if I can remember rightly. So we should be able to do this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport over to Lumbridge. We're going to grab ourselves a spade, and then we're also going to go get some food so I can reheal as well. And then we're going to head over to Drainer and see if we can complete this beginner clue. Because why not? I think this is about where the clue score is. We'll see. I found a new clue. Is it doable? Nope. Oh dear. Cannot go to Rodo. Rodo is part of the Varrock region, so that was an absolute utter waste of my time. Goodbye, clue scroll. Another trip completed. We finally got ourselves the Iron Kite Shield as well, which is really nice. Uh, should allow us to tank a little bit more. I don't think there's anything else that they drop. I don't know if they drop Iron Legs or anything. Uh, this is probably going to be the best thing that I can get for them. And if I get more of these, I can always add them to the Crucible as well. It's not looking too bad with attack. We've got an hour and 46 minutes. I don't think I can hit 40, though. I think I said this before. I don't reckon I'll hit 40 this week. But it does push us closer and closer to 40, which is really useful for the future. Because then we finally get the carrier slot. We can carry over the rune scimitar, and that will help for, you, for melee training in the future as well. But I've pretty much got everything that I want to get from Hill Giants now. It's just a matter of training on them for XP at this point. And uh, we may actually be able to get ourselves 37 prayer if I can manage to kill enough of them. It's my lucky day, is it? We shall see. Can we get ourselves a stale baguette and then lose it anyway? Mystery box. Ah, that's an old boot. Pfft. What a waste of my time. So we're still working on killing hill giants. We're at 34 attack. We are probably going to get 37. We've still got about an hour left. Um, but one thing I will quickly want to do is actually head over to the range combat tutor. I should have done this absolutely ages ago. But I didn't. Uh, we're going to toggle it so that if uh, we pick up ammo... It will automatically equip rather than just putting it in the inventory. And that is going to make doing range stuff in the future really nice. And also the iron arrows I'm casually picking up from this. Really convenient as well. There's no real reason why I'm picking them up. I just like collecting things and they're going to end up with the stack in the bank anyway. And never to be used ever again. But I like collecting so I'm going to keep stacking them up the way I am right now. We're going to get ourselves another inventory and I should be able to get 37 on the next trip. So, I'm a major idiot. Uh, I completely forgot that it was coming. Um, I buried a bone. It was in combat, so obviously it skipped the menu. But we just got 37 prayer. Now, this unlocks Protect from Magic. Our first overhead prayer. And it can be really handy for bosses coming up. I know I've expressed 
my uh, anticipation of this, which is really nice. Um, one thing to point out in particular is Bro Fita, the boss that I struggled with before, would be significantly easier with Protect from Magic, so it could really help with that. Uh, not to mention, in Southern Corend, the Shaded Beast with Protect from Magic is a lot easier, but I will probably need Prayer Potions for that, given that it drains your prayer throughout the fight. I don't know how that would work, but still, having Protect from Magic is really nice for a lot of things in this game. And uh, still, yeah, I mean, prayer levels are really good. Once we get to 43 and we've got all the overhead protection prayers, it's going to be really convenient to kill certain monsters. It's fine, I've got 25 seconds left, but it's whatever. Uh, we are not going to have time for anything else, so quite honestly, just going to reflect on what we managed to get. Uh, 36 attack, very nearly 37. I'm about to die, so I couldn't actually finish that off. We've got 10 seconds left on the timer. Going to let that run down, and then we're going to work on rolling the new regions. Uh, bear in mind, we do get two regions, and I also want to mention that the wilderness is on the wheel. So... We can get it as a region this week. It is now going to be week 9 next week. So, like I said, we are unlocking the wilderness. So, without further ado, let's do the first of the two spins. Spin the wheel. Okay. We have two spins. So, not too bad. We'll go for the second one. Let's go ahead and spin it for number two. Okay. This is going to be an interesting week. Well, I'll see you guys next week then. Thank you.